And welcome back. Now to our second part of the four W's of surviving Utah's wilderness. ABC 4's Jared John Nitty takes us to Grove Creek Canyon up in Pleasant Grove, where a survival expert explains how to survive by using something that's all around us. Wood, whether you're sleeping in a tent or planning to build your own shelter, wood is key for survival. It's simple. So basically anything on the ground that's not alive. And everywhere. Utah survivalist Eric Pearson says all you really need to survive is wood. There's always a first step for everything. You're always new. You're always a beginner at everything. Every few days, someone has to be rescued in Utah. Last month, a woman and her two dogs went out for a hike in the mountains above Farmington. Officials say she got lost and could not find her way back to the trailhead. Search and rescue found the woman and say she was in good condition. She spent 24 hours in the wilderness without a shelter. The idea is just to get the weather off of you. Pearson says be aware of your surroundings. If there's anything like an overhang, you can climb up under a cliff face, a rock. Nature may have already created shelter for you. You can literally just come in here and if you have to, you can just tuck up under here. And if it's not good enough, just grab some of this vine face and pull it down towards you. If you don't have anything, grab your shoelaces and tie it off up there. But if not, I'll tie the string off. It's called a Canadian jam knot. Two wraps on the inside and then one on the outside. And then I'm gonna weave it. Once you gather enough wood to start a fire. Like this stuff. So I got the gloves on because I don't wanna grab a scorpion. So I just poke the bottom of my knife and I can just squeeze this stuff out of there. And I can gather maybe one or two of these things and literally just wipe it into the, the material that I'm, that I'm using to, to light my fire. And whether that's just leaves or bark or whatever you want, it helps. So I'm not gonna light this just yet. I'm just gonna set it like that to kind of help keep the wind from blowing it away. And then I'm gonna go gather what's called a stage one, just tiny twigs that easily light. As long as we get some of it down in there. And then I just get a comfortable position. I just use this, the, the sharp spine of my knife to scrape the, the ferrocerium rod. And if I do it right, get a little fire going. It's always good to have a, have a backup. The tripod could also be used for cooking. Just a fun thing to just help out. Yeah. And just spread it out like that. And then from here, you can just adjust it any way you want. And then that just kind of holds everything together. You can make it larger and make an actual smoker out of it. Like uh, you saw when we pulled on that pine tree, that dead pine tree, those chunks of bark were coming off. Yeah. You can lay them up against something like this and create a smoker. It's not ideal to use dry wood for that. Now that the fire is almost out and darkness is setting in, it's time for bed. Don't come near me. Um, if you try to touch me, I will bite you. And they can even bite after they're dead. Coming up tomorrow night, the wildlife that moves in the night while you're fast asleep. Jared Jotinini, ABC4 News.